Good evening, room four. Well, it's Mr. And here, and I'm ready to teach you a new game that we're gonna play tomorrow um, during math class. What we are going to do is work on our mental math. We are gonna work on addition, simply adding some numbers and trying to, get, trying to be the first person to get to 100. Uh, what you're going to do is work with a partner. So you and one other person are going to have a piece of paper, a pen, and two dice to play with. Uh, what you're going to do is shake the dice and try to get a high number and add all of your numbers up so that you are the first person to get 100 or higher. Now, what I'm going to do, as you see behind me, the game is called the pig game, okay? And I have my nice pretty pig, oink, oink, oink. And I have a few numbers here in the circles. It's actually the same number, and it's the number one. And what you're going to do is you do not want the number one. And so I'm going to show you, I'm actually gonna grab the camera, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when, um, yeah, I'll show you an example game of what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. So hopefully tonight you'll know everything you need to know. All right, here we go. All right, so over here at one of your desks, you'll have a piece of paper, a pen, and some dice. Now, if there's only two of you playing, you can use four dice, each, each have a pair, or you can simply share and go back and forth playing the game. Um, so you're going to put your names down on your paper. So let's say we have Sam, and we have Mark, and you simply write your names on the piece of paper, and that's where you're gonna keep track of your rolls, okay? So what you're going to do is roll the dice, and you wanna get a high number. Now, I got a one, that's bad news. When you roll a number one, your turn is over, and you receive zero. So unfortunately, Sam's first turn, he received a zero the first round. Now it's Mark's turn, so we're gonna go ahead and shake Mark's dice. And I just lost one, so I'll take a different one. And he has seven. We add five plus two and he gets seven. Now he can keep the score seven or he may shake again. I'm gonna shake again, but if he gets a one, his turn is over. Ugh, and we got a number one. So unfortunately now, Mark gets zero as well. So we put a zero down. Now we're gonna shake again for Sam. And when he shakes, he gets 11. That's a pretty high number, so he's gonna keep that number and he's gonna write 11 down on his sheet. Now, you continue the game just like that and the first person to get to 100 then wins. Now, the one thing you do have to remember that if you shake double ones, snake eyes as they call it, if you shake two ones in a row, you lose all of your points. So if Sam would now have shaked snake eyes or two ones, he then loses all of his points and his turn for that round, okay? But if you shake only one one, like a one and a two, then you just stop for that. You lose your turn that round and you don't get any new points, but you don't lose everything you have accumulated, okay? So tomorrow I will have a partner ready for you and when class starts we will go ahead and start Pig's Game. Good luck and I will see you tomorrow.